Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Tricks of the Trade with me, Tom Court. Please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Really looking to get to 20k subscribers over the next few months. Check out my channel, there's loads of different videos, vlogs each week of shred missions. This is my instructional series where I go through all the tricks that I've done in my various vlogs. If you've got any tricks you really want described or any clips that you really would like me to go back over, ask in the comments and I will get that done for you. Let's get into this episode of Tricks of the Trade. I'm gonna talk about the kite loop late back roll because Let's face it, your big air game is important and kite loops are at the foundation of that. The kite loop late back roll is your entry trick into some of the madness that they are doing on the big air world tour right now. Let's get into the kite loop late back roll. As I always say with pretty much every one of my videos, takeoff is critical and speed into takeoff is highly necessary because you want to be going forward so when you fly your kite up into the takeoff, you're going to leverage maximum amount of tension in your lines so that you can have control right into the initiation of that loop. So you come into it with speed, here is obviously very flat water, I've got perfect control on that edge so it is a very good place to practice them. Sheet out to get the cut, sheet in to hit the pop correctly and time that with the cut of your edge and you are going to rock it straight up. There's a small delay between the time I take off and the time that I initiate the loop. This is so that I can ensure that I have got enough height in that jump and in that trick to justify throwing the kite loop, let alone the late back roll. Once, once I've allowed that delay and the kite is in a good position at the top of the window to initiate the loop, boom, there you go, I pull the loop and go into that kite loop, keeping an eye on the kite, making sure the kite is already on its way back up before I throw the rotation into the late back roll just so that I know that the kite's already going to the top of the window. This mitigates a lot of risk when it comes to swinging back in. And if anything goes wrong with the, with the rotation or the back roll, you can just not do too much and let the kite rise to 12, so at least it's going in the right direction. Just allow your head and your back shoulder just to, just to tuck in underneath that edge of that bar. And with the momentum that you have from the whip and the kite loop and the pull from the kite and then the slight slack, when, once you dip that head and tuck that shoulder into that back rotation, your body will follow. So you just, as the kite comes round from the loop into the upward facing position, you tuck that back shoulder and just allow your body to go round with it. At this point, you don't want to be doing too much with the kite. You just want to have equal bar pressure and uh, let your body just naturally send into that back roll. If you send it too hard, you might over rotate. So you don't want to really like push it too much, especially for the first times. And then as you come around from that back roll, look at your landing, judge your height, then reaffirm where that kite position is. Let the kite go back into the heli loop position and make sure you're ready for that complete downwind landing. Pull the heli loop just before you go into the landing. If you're high enough, dive the kite into the landing, land downwind, make sure you're ready for the speed, stomp it and ride away. 